nation So we pray for revelation Is there something we can do To keep building us up To stop tearing us down He is to be remembered. We celebrate today a man to be remembered. We mourn today a man who can never be replaced. A life so precious and full of grace. Humble, sweet, loving, and caring. A man who knew the meaning of sharing. He never complained about, always had an open ear, quick to listen, patient, understanding and kind, a man who always had everyone else first in mind. He loved his wife and his children so much, always putting them first instead of himself. What more could you ask a man with such a heart? What more could you ask a man with these thoughts? He is a man to be remembered because he is one of a kind. His life is celebrated, it's a celebration, and we all must keep that in mind. Right now, if you said, I wonder what he is saying to us all today, it probably would be, I love you all, remember me always. For I will be there when you are thinking of me. I will be there when old memories come to mind. I will be there when you turn around and look behind. I had a wonderful life. I had so much to show for it. I am a man to be remembered, and you all know it. No regrets. I wish I did, or I told you that. There's no room for turning back. Celebrate me. Remember me, and never let my memory cease to be. For the love you have in your hearts today will always be with me. Good afternoon, Wayne audience, and thank you for joining us this hour in Speaking of the Tongue. I am Chef Elton, your guest host today. As you can tell, my wife, hostess and speaker of the tongue, Rita Harden, has given me another honeydew list. I'm back again, but it's okay. She'll be back hopefully next week, and I can get some rest. We have a great show today. We have some seasoned seniors back with us to share their gifts, knowledge, prayer, scripture, and wisdom with us. As we continue this series, my wife is working on saints, marriages, and seniors. We can all learned a great deal from these three young young ladies. So let's get our praise on, shall we? Good afternoon, ladies. And welcome, welcome to Good afternoon. Sp- speaking of the tongue. Yes. I'm so glad that y'all could 
come back one more time and uh, yes. finish up what we started the last time uh, y'all were here. Uh, Ms. Turner, see, um, I'm glad that you could come back and be with us. And thank you for having me. And you said earlier that you just left another meeting? Yes. This morning, I attended DeKalb County's Legislative Breakfast Meeting, which is hosted by Stan Watson, Commissioner of DeKalb County. Okay. This morning, he had sort of an expo. If you were in danger of losing your home and wanting to learn about foreclosures and everything about house housing, there must have been about 25 or different supporters that were there from different organizations. And they were there to help not only seniors, but anybody. If you wanted to know about reverse mortgages or anything of the like, they were there this morning. So they were, um, NACA didn't have too much on them. You had pretty much everything you needed for foreclosure information and did they assist in anything else in housing or life? For, most, gas peop or for most people that were there who needed more assistance than I did, mm -hmm. the people there, most of them were already in serious trouble. I understand. They were there for people who were behind on mortgages. Fortunately, I wasn't one of them. They were there because they were put out of their homes okay. and the like. Okay. Fortunately, God bless, I wasn't one of them. Now, is this uh, every once a month or? or yes, Stan Watson hosts these meetings every month on the first Saturday of every month at Chapel Hill Middle School. Right. There is no charge to attend. You can come there and meet all of the Cab County commissioners. You can meet judges, those who are in the um, law enforcement. Mm -hmm. Everything you want to know about the Cab County, you can find out in at Stan Watson's community legislative meeting. All right, Wayne listeners, are you listening to her? Uh, write this down and take the information, mm -hmm. and perhaps maybe we have someone out in the listening audience that needs some assistance and don't know how to go about getting right. it. So you're hearing it right here on right. Speak Another Tongue. Um, and if you want to um, be really involved in your own neighborhood association, DeKalb County Awards, uh, an initiative for keeping your own neighborhood up to par, like in making sure that there are community meetings where you mm -hmm. can inform your neighborhood of what's going on. And this morning, maybe about, oh, 10 or 12 different neighborhoods were awarded an award, the neighborhood initiative award which you are eligible to get if you do certain things like organizing a community newspaper yes things like that how often you may have your mu community organizations in your own neighborhood which are open to everyone in your neighborhood matter of fact tomorrow i will attend my homeowners associating meeting Watch out. Yes, I live in Emerald Estates, and we have a great community. We have a great organization, and our meetings are very well attended. Matter of fact, I am bragging a little bit. <laughs> I am the neighborhood reporter. Watch out. Watch so out. I'm responsible for letting everyone know what is going on. Okay. And we also publish our own neighborhood newspaper. That's exciting. Thank you. Um. How about the food this morning? What's oh, yes. By the way, if you like a morning breakfast, Stan Watson always has a terrific <laughs> breakfast. <laughs> and okay. it's always free. Mm. Always free. This morning, if you know uh, how big a school auditorium is, there must have been, oh, 200 or better people that always stay come 
Matter of fact, there was almost standing room only. They had to go and get more chairs. The breakfast this morning was awesome. We had everything from chicken, <laughs> ham, sausage, grits, eggs, butter, tea, coffee, fruit salad, the works. It is not just once in a while. It's every time you attend the community breakfast meeting. So once again, now this is Stan Watson. Stan Watson, who is also the Cab County Commissioner. Maybe if you watch him on TV, you will see him there at the um, the roundtable discussion, but usually on like a Tuesday okay. evening, where you can come forth before the cabinet and present your problems that you would like answered. Well, I'm so glad to uh, that you came back on the show. Thank you. And uh, it's always a pleasure to talk to you. It's a pleasure for you. And too. now I think I'm gonna go down to Miss Drummond because she is holy. Ghost field on fire, just coming to the to the radio station. But I'm just gonna ask her a few things, and then uh, we gonna move it right along. Cause you can just look at her now and tell she's on fire. She's ready to go. But uh, it's good to see you again, and welcome again to speaking other tongues. And thank you for coming. Now, when you were on last time, you uh, did you tell? My wife, did you have two books published? No, I didn't. You did? Okay. I don't have any books published. Well, it's music. It's just music. Would you like some water or something? Yes. yes. Okay. Thank you. Um, mm, hold on. like to, to just do a apologize for it but sh she needed some water and uh, she had it right there so we're going to let her uh, drink a little water and then we're going to go back to uh, the interview thank you thank you for your patience thank you sir all right so it was songs being published yes uh -huh. okay and uh as we were coming over, we were talking about copyrighting and how important it is to have stuff copyrighted. And um, I was just wondering if you could just tell the viewing audience pretty much how to go about if they have information or songs or poetry, if they want to get it copyrighted, the necessary steps to, uh, to obtain it. I think it's very important if you have original, if you have written things, and uh, you haven't had them copyrighted, I don't think it's very good. So therefore, you go to the Library of Congress and copyright everything that God has given you to write, whether it's poetry or um, otherwise, and have it copyrighted. You go to the Library of Congress, you can go do it online, or actually um, on telephone, but just have it copyrighted. Fill out an application, a form, a small fee, and have it copyrighted in your name. And therefore, if you go and you um, perform your works, it's safe, and nobody will be able to take your, your gifts. But if they're not copyrighted and you go forth and present your talents, your music, whatever it is, you're not, it's not safe. Someone could come in and take your music, take your poetry, and put their name on it. You don't want this to happen. So in case they do, you be covered and protected by getting your own copyright. It's worth it. You will never regret it. Just go do it online, or you can order your applications. They will send them to you in the mail. And just write it up, pay your fee, and you're covered. What I would suggest you do that. What would you recommend to other seniors like Miss Turnipseed, who knows that they have a gift or a talent? Uh, would you 
recommend that they pursue that, get their stuff copyrighted. So. Oh, yes. I think definitely that would be the first thing you do when it's completed. You go and you have it copyrighted in your name. Therefore, you can go forth and you can sing this in public. You mm -hmm. can uh, recite it. Yes. You're free to do these things. Yes. But if you do not have it, I would suggest that you do not perform your works until they're properly covered with the copyright. And it's a very simple method to do, a very small fee, and it's worth it because if anything becomes of it, you will get all the royalties. Yes. But if it's not in your name and somebody takes it, there's nothing you can do. You've lost it, and God wants you to preserve all your gifts. And plus, it's, it's around about, what, 45 to $65? Yes, I'd say from 35 to $65. And they will give you all the information, how to do it, how to fill it out. It's a very simple application. And then they will send you back your copy with a seal on it yes. in your name. Praise the Lord. But it would even be better um, for every time that you send them in, say if you have one and uh, you send it in, you will still pay the same amount if you had 10 to 20, if you just like uh, the collective work of Chef Elton. And I could send them all in at one time for that one fee then to keep sending one, two, so, you know, 65 times five, you know, you do the math. I'd rather pay 65 once for mm -hmm. all of them than to pay two, three hundred for two at a time or three at a time. But copywriting is important, and most people, um, uh, they're out there. They will try to, uh, to take advantage of you and... Uh, they can just change one word in your song or the poetry, and it becomes theirs. So That's copyright true. Copywriting is important, and um, I appreciate you bringing that out and t telling us a little bit about the, the publishing and the copyrights. And thank you for coming again. I tell you, it's I'm my pleasure. so blessed to be up here with my three pleasure. lovely women. Men, eat your heart out. <laughs> <laughs> My pleasure. Uh, Miss Precious Jones. Precious, precious, precious. Uh, how are you doing today? I am doing very good. Thank God in heaven. Well, it's good to see you and always a pleasure talking you. to you. Good to be you. And here um, you uh, said that you had a problem with this show on YouTube, but you were able to see other shows like Dr. Glory, uh, Gloria Ward Wright. Yes. And uh, Talbert, Mr. Talbert. Yeah. Well. Yeah. Who, who could sing but, so uh, very well. For the the listeners and uh, Wayne TV viewers, it's www.wain.tv and just click on on, on demand and you'll be able to uh, stroll down to speak another tongue. You can then put the date that you want to watch, and you can see all the shows present and in the past. And um, we're going to do a little something different here. Um, I thought we would uh, just sit and just whatever God lays on your heart, if it's reading scripture and praying or uh, do both, whatever uh, you feel like you want to do. Today, I just want to minister to the viewing audience on just how good God is for, it's not about us, it's about Jesus. Amen. And I truly believe that I have some, uh, some wonderful women here, women of God that can enlighten you in so many ways so I want to go back to Miss Drummonds and just have Miss Drummonds just to say a prayer or read scripture or whatever God lays on her heart. Uh, Miss Drummonds. Oh my pleasure. Uh, could we bow our heads please? Father God we thank you for this beautiful day that you have given us. We ask you Lord to forgive us for all of our sins known and unknown. 
We ask you, dear God, to create in us a clean heart and renew a right spirit within us so we can be like you. Father God, we thank you for all the blessings that we have. You gave them to us, and we do not take it for granted. But God, we thank you for all the miracles that you have performed for us and that you're able to perform for us. We thank you for the gift of faith that you've given us, Lord, that we can believe that everything that you say that you'll do for us, we can believe it. Father God, thank you for the opportunity to lift up your name and glorify you. And Lord God, we ask that you just have your way today and let the Holy Spirit come in and take over. That way we know that it's your perfect will that we do. And we give you all the glory, honor, and praise in Jesus' holy name. Amen. Amen. And I would like to say the scripture that I would like to use today is, For God so loved the world that he gave his only begotten Son, that whosoever believeth in him should not perish, but have everlasting life. So in order for us to be in the place where God wants us to be, male, female, man, woman, boy, or girl, it's time to make a decision to receive Jesus Christ as our Lord and Savior. In Romans 10, 9, 10, it says, If thou shalt confess with thy mouth the Lord Jesus and believe in thy heart that God raised him from the dead, thou shalt be saved. This is what I'd like to say today. If you haven't received him as your Lord and Savior, receive him today. It's worth it. It will be the greatest and best decision that you could ever make. After you receive him as your Lord and Savior, ask him to use you for his glory to win other people to him. Colossians 1.27 says, Christ in you, the hope of glory. That's what we do when we have received him as Lord. It's Christ in us, the hope of glory. We're to go forth and speak his word and spread his goodness. That's called the gospel. That's what we do once we received him as Lord. He wants us to be his disciples yes. on earth. He wants to use our mouth, our hands, our feet to represent him. And I say today that these scriptures are from my heart. Christ in you and you and you and you, the hope of glory. Yes. That's what he's expecting of all the people sitting in the pews today. Yes. Whether you're Baptist or Methodist or Protestant or Lutheran, if you have received Jesus Christ as your Lord and your Savior, it's time for you to be about his business. Not to be ashamed of the gospel, but to go forth with his word so that yes. people that are lost will be found. People that are walking in darkness will walk in light. And guess what? It'll catch on fire. Yes. As they receive him, yes. they'll tell somebody. Yes. And they'll receive him. It's supposed to go forth and go forth and go forth. This is what we're supposed to be about now. Quick, fast, in a hurry. Why? Because our king is soon to return. And we want everybody yes. to be yes. ready. True. When he comes, because he's coming back yeah, he's for coming a church back. without a spot, without a wrinkle, yes. and he's looking for us yes. to be yes. like him yes. so we can enter in and eternally have a good life with Jesus Christ. That's what I wanted to share today. And I thank um, this program and all the people involved, uh, Brother Elton and his beautiful wife, Rita for inviting me to be here today. I give the God all the glory, all the honor and praise for this program and for them uh, allowing me to come on to testify of my Lord and my Savior, Jesus yes. Christ. Yes. And I want to take this time to say thank you, brother. 
I am indeed grateful, Amen. brother right. and my sister, who is not here today, Amen. but the beautiful lady, I want to thank her also. Amen. And it's good to be with my other sisters here, who I love dearly. They're servants of the Almighty God. Amen. 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 Yeah, we have thank you. church today, great thank listeners. You. We have in church. Miss Turner, sing anything to say? Often we have heard the Bible. Often we have heard verses. But so many times they are either misunderstood are misquoted, are misstated. Often we hear someone say, all things are possible. We hear it all the time. Yes. All yes. things are yes. possible. Yes. But I would like to say that that too is a misquote. Mm. Okay. The wow. quote correctly stated is, with God, all, all things, things are, are possible. possible. Amen. Not yeah. just all things are possible. Amen. Amen. With God, all things are possible. Amen. And I repeat one more time. <laughs> With God, all things are possible. Yes, ma'am. If you don't believe me, you can read it yourself. It's in Matthew nineteen twenty six. Amen. It is true. It is true. Nothing happens without God. Amen. With God, all things are possible. Amen. Amen. I'm uh, Miss Precious Jones. Yes, sir. Your turn. Well, um, <laughs> Barbara is so right. We, uh, we <laughs> hear the misquoting, you know, and if you don't, yes, it's on. Um, you know, um, it, it, she's right. It's being it's being misquoted. Um, ask and you'll you'll receive and you know you'll, you'll just get what you ask for but i unfortunately i can't find the scripture right now but it's it's in the bible that says that god jesus said he would give us but we've got to be in his will we've got to do what he wants us to do and then those things that we ask for if we're in his will we'll be asking for what he wants us to have and yes. not what we want okay so that that's that's a misconception. We got to get in God's will. We got to get in uh, our Father in Heaven's will and 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 to know His will, so that when we're praying and asking for things, we'll know that if He decides He wants us to have those things, we'll get them. But not that we're going to get them because we prayed for them. We're going to get them because He said we could have them. Because He could say, "No, you're not getting that." Or wait, I'll give it to you later. Or, or I got something better for you. Or you're just not going to get it. And we have to accept whatever God says. Amen. Well, for me, I would like to say a prayer. The book of generation of Jesus Christ, son of David, son of Abraham. It is once more and again, and in thy presence, we humble ourselves before you the best way that we know how. We come with thanksgiving and praise in our hearts for you are worthy to be praised. For we know that you are King of kings and Lord of lords. You are the Prince of Peace. Yes. You are the Alpha and the Omega, the beginning and the end, the yes. first and the last. You are the Almighty and you have all powers. Amen. And you can do anything but fail. Father, we thank you for this day. Yes. We thank you for another day in which we never seen before and for 24 hours we'll never see again. Yes. We thank you for your amazing grace. We thank you for our salvation. Yes. We thank you for the Holy Spirit. We thank you for your mercy, and we thank you for showing us favor. We thank you for just being who you are, and yes. bless your holy name. Father, we thank you for making us stewards over everything that we have down here on earth. We thank you for the food and the shoes underneath our feet, yes. the clothes that we wear, the cool yes. water that we drink, for the transportation and housing and for the changing of the four seasons. Yes. For the birds that sing. Mm. For the blood that still runs warm in our veins and free movements of all our limbs yes. and our right minds. We thank you, Lord. 
Yes. Father, we ask that you have mercy on those who have died within the sixth and the ninth hour. Mm. Have mercy on those behind the prison walls yes, and prison Lord. bounds. Yes, those Lord. in the hospital and those yes. on the battlefield. Yes. Have mercy on those less fortunate than our than ourselves. Lord. Yes. Have mercy on those who standing in need of a blessing. Yes. Give them a double portion of everything that the enemy has tried to take away yes. from them. Have mercy, Lord, on the children's hospitals all over the world and people in hospice and bedridden yes. and yes. nursing homes and tent cities in Somalia and Hades living yes. on the streets, Lord. 3,000 years ago, fox had a hole, bird had a nest, but the son of man had nowhere to lay his head, Lord. But we have homeless people sleeping yes. under bridges, sleeping on park benches and yes. at bus stops, Lord. Have mercy, Lord. Have mercy. Have mercy on the body of Christ as a whole. And we ask, Lord, to bless all the churches, bless us, uh, and cover our cars mm -hmm. with the blood of Jesus Thank as we Jesus. go up and down the highways and the byways and yes, give us Lord. safe journey to and from yes. this destination. And, Thank Father, you. I ask that you bless everyone within the sound of my voice, Lord. For when you bless me, not only do you bless me, but you be bless everyone that I come in contact Amen. with. Yes, Lord. Amen. That's the way mm -hmm. you work through other people. Yes, Lord. Yes. Lord. And you, I just want to say thank you for what you've done, for the things that you're thank about you, to do. And just have mercy, have mercy, you, have Lord. mercy, Lord. We need you now. Yes. Because the Bible says, seek you, me now while you have the Amen. chance. Soon yes, you will Lord. look for me, and you won't be able to find me. That's true. Yes. We thank you, Lord. We thank you. If we had 10,000 tongues, it wouldn't be enough to say thank you. Yes, Amen. Lord. And, Father, so true. when it's all said and done, I just ask that you give me a home somewhere in thy holy kingdom. I'm not particular about where, Lord, mm. but just somewhere. Mm. Father, yes, Lord. let the words of my mouth. Yes, and Lord. the meditation of my heart be acceptable in thy sight. Yes, Lord. These and the many other blessings we ask in Jesus' name. And for our sakes we pray. Amen, amen, amen. Amen, amen. 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 Beautiful. Well, Wayne listeners, we really are getting our praise on. And I am not afraid to say to the world that I love the Lord. Amen. Amen. I love him Jesus. and can't do without him. Amen. And Amen. I appreciate him so much yes. because he has been good to me. Yes. I mean, to bless me from the past days, months, and years up to this present day. Yes. Woke me up this morning, started me on my way. And all I can say is just thank you, Jesus. Amen. Praise God. Well, ladies, it's beautiful. Um, I'm going to go up and I'm going to make a few announcements and then we're going to come back and then I have some, something I want to share with y'all. Okay. okay. I'll be right back. All right. Okay. Excuse me. I first would like to let the viewing listeners aware of my wife's book speaking of the tongue and how to obtain the book by Rita Harden you can go to rosedogbook.com and look under the author's name Rita Harden or amazon.com it's a powerful book and it's just about everyday life everyday challenges experience and not just to purchase the book, but actually read the book. It will change your life. It has changed mine. And as Chef Elton, I don't have my uniform on. Um, today uh, it's not about Chef Elton, it's about Jesus. And we are still having the Father's Day essay contest and we encourage you to participate, 
send it in to myself at Chef Elton 5. Well, let me say that it's just a hundred word essay on why I should come to your father's house and cook a seven course meal free of charge with all the blessings from the Lord. Just a hundred words. That's it. Uh, they must come and appear on my wife's show, Speak Another Tongue. And um, there they will be judged and whoever the out whatever the outcome may be, if the winner selected, we set the date and I'll do the menu and we'll go over the menu and I'll come to your house and cook it free of charge. And um, once again, if you have any um, Anyone who's interested in the essay, you can put info at waen.tv or myself, Chef Elton 5, the number 5, at bellsouth.net. We know how much you love your parents, so it's up to you to, uh, to fill it out. Hopefully, you'll be selected and you can come on the show and uh, we can get some food on the table for uh, your mother and your father. Amen. My wife will be continuing the series on saints, marriages, and seniors next Saturday with a wonderful lineup of guests for this month. So please join her at 1 p.m. tomorrow, um, next uh, Saturday at 1 p.m. And also don't forget, speaking of, of the tongue in conjunction with WAIN and WAEN TV, We'll have the voter registration, uh, educational drive, and youth membership drive for the NAACP. That'll be coming up, and perhaps next week she will give you an update on that. Rita and the staff here at WAEN and, and WAIN will be hold, uh, holding their first meeting, the planning committee meeting on June 12th at uh, 2012 at 6.30 p.m. We invite anyone who's interested in helping to get uh, the vote out or our youth involved committed and the vote in the next crucial elections for the President of the United States. It's so important that we support our President. I personally um, I support him for who he is, not for what he says or what he does, but for who he is. He is God sent. And they have thrown everything that they could at President Obama. They will even address him as Obama. Won't even put his title of president. He is all that we have for our people. And it's important to us to support him, not because he's the president, just because of who he is. It's so important to support him. I'm not in agreement, like I said, with everything that he says or does. But He's God sent. He's a man of God. And we need him now more than ever. And it's important for everyone to s stand behind him, support him, vote for him, because if it was the other way around, we would be hurting a lot more than what we are now. Look at the 99ers, you know, look at the, the armed forces housing. So we have to support the president. We have to get out and do the voter registration drive. We have to get out and get the voter ID cards, driver's license, whatever it takes to do it. Uh, I'm behind my wife and WAIN TV and, and the Wayne viewing listeners. Uh, we are just asking for your support. We thank you for joining us this hour, and we thank you for 
hanging in with me and I got through this <laughs> honeydew list. So thank you for participating and please join my wife Rita on her next uh, show. May God bless you. May the Lord keep you. May he shine his face upon your heart and give you and your family peace. But before I close, I just want to go back to the ladies because I have um, a surprise for them. And then we will close. So just a minute, ladies. <coughs> ladies, um, I made copies of the last pictures <laughs> that when we were here. And I wanted to present that to oh. you. These are beautiful. Nice. And you can frame those oh. and uh, whatever you want to do. Right. But I thought it would be nice to uh, to let y'all have those. Thank, Thank you. you so much. Thank, Thank, you. You. Thank you. Thank you. It's a pleasure to receive Thank this. Thank you so much. It's great. So, Miss Turnip. Uh, Thank you. So you're going to get your books published and everything. Oh, yeah. Do your poems publish? Most definitely. I'm working on it. I've got to get it copyrighted. And then I'm going to be famous, too. Well, you are already famous. Oh, thank you for yes, getting me saying that. you're very that. active in the community. And I just think it's, uh, uh, it's I just admire <laughs> someone who's <laughs> always about doing something. Yes. Um, you know, if you're not busy, God's not using you. That's right. And That's just true. like yesterday, we had the uh, the bishops and everyone at the church. Oh, yes. I worked from uh, 6 a.m. to 12 midnight. 18 hours I stayed. My goodness. 18 hours I stayed working. Got home at 1.30 and woke up at 7. So it's it's uh, if you're not busy, God's not using you. That's right. But something that we didn't talk about that I have to talk about um, the cons the concerned spirit. You remember on the way discerning? Oh yes. Spirit. Yes. And asking for the Holy Spirit. Now Miss Drummond, she said when it's that you needed both of those. I'm a God fearing man. I may not look like it. I may not act like it, but I I wait patiently. It's the Holy Spirit is to me is like the wind. You can't tell which way is blowing. You can just feel it. Praise know? God. And like Shirley Caesar said, it's like uh, what that shut up in your fire, shut up in your bones, mm -hmm. and it's. It's That's hard true. for me now to even um, to do wrong because uh, when I was coming up, and we were in the uh, Baptist, the churches, uh, my grandmother and, and, and other family members would, would shout and some people they would try to hold and, and I was always taught that the Holy Spirit won't let you harm yourself so you don't need to grab them, let them go, you know. Because the spirit won't make you r run into a wall or bust your head. That's true. Because the Holy Spirit is a gentleman. Okay. He's a gentleman. He does not push himself on his way. You have to choose the Holy Spirit. Okay. You choose him. We receive the Holy Spirit when we see Jesus as our Lord and Savior. And we have God, Jesus, and the Holy Spirit. All three of them are one. And it's a team. And they work for you. And the Holy Spirit is power. power. Real power. Holy Ghost power. That's right. You <laughs> receive that when you get saved. But if you want more of it, you ask for it. And I found out, I didn't understand at first, that you need to ask for more of it. Ask to be filled with the Holy Ghost, the Holy Spirit. Why? So you can have power. It even tells you that in the book of Acts. Have you received power? 
since the Holy Spirit has come upon you. The thing about it is, it's your desire. What do you want? Do you want to be just a Christian? Or do you want to be a powerful Amen. Christian? Amen. I want to be a powerful one. Why? So I can do what Jesus did. You can lay hands on the sick and you see them recover. You can pray and miracles will happen. That's what he wants all of his disciples to do. All of us. That's what he wants us to be just like him, his disciples in the earth to go about doing great things. He said, greater works shall you do because I go to the father. That's Jesus's words. He's not talking about just the preachers. He's talking about everybody, everybody that's sitting in the congregation. You are his disciple and he wants us to be taught. Amen to do these things and if you're not being taught then you have to get somewhere and teach yourself get this material what do you want Jesus what do you want me to do what do you want me to be and go forth and do it because these are the times now he's looking at us to see what are you doing how many people are going to heaven and you're responsible that you told them about Jesus you told them he was great and he was wonderful and you have to receive him in your heart how many people are sitting in heaven now because of you because of you, because of you, because of you sitting out there in the audience and me. That's what it's about. If they're not teaching it where you're sitting, then you have to go and try to find how to be taught this. You don't have to leave where you are because you may have to go back and teach them. But go and find out the truth. The truth will set you free, and it's real, and do it urgently. Amen. That's Amen. what he wants. And that's why when you get saved, Sisters and brothers, ask for discerning of spirits. That's a gift you can ask him for. If you ask for it, he'll give it to you. To discern right from wrong, to discern good from bad, because we need to know the truth. And the Holy Spirit will teach you all things and bring all things to your remembrance and show you things to come. And all of us need to know that, not just the le people in leadership, but all of us need to know that. Amen. Miss Precious. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. I, I, ooh. Now, when she talks about the Holy Spirit, ooh. Mm. <laughs> the Holy Spirit comes I just have to tell the truth. I that's know all. you do, child. I don't mean to keep talking, but uh -huh, it's so good. But he's so good. Yeah. Yes, yeah. He yeah. yes, he is. Yes, he is. Yes, he is. We go on and on <laughs> and, and on. And it's for everybody. And we don't get yes. tired. Yes. But when the Holy Spirit comes upon me, He's real. And He comes upon me, and I don't, I, I don't, I don't ask Him to come. He decides to rest upon Amen. me. Praise and when God. He does, joy comes upon me. Yes. And I cry a river as His Holy Spirit is <laughs> resting on me. I'm crying a river, and 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 it's it's though that I have entered into His court. Yes. I have entered into His It'll home, tell it, where tell His it. Holy throne is and where he's seated. I don't Tell see him, but I feel his presence. Hallelujah. And I feel the presence of, Hallelujah. Of, of, of his son, Tell Jesus. And, and I'm crying because we're, the three of us are there and the Holy Ghost is in the middle and he's saying, I got you. Yes. You're right here with me and I want you to feel me. And I'm saying, thank, thank you, you for letting me feel you. Thank and you, I Jesus. cry a river every time. That's Man. one of the effects. That's one of the effects that he Man. will do that because he's real. He's real. Yes, he is. He's real. Amen. He is, I and he'll it. make you remember things that you have forgotten. Amen. I gotta you go. You are to right. Turner. Right. Amen. I gotta go back to you. Okay. All right. <laughs> I just, just um, tell tell us just how good God has been to you. I mean, I can. I can see the wisdom, I feel the wisdom. And you know, to our viewing audience, it's so important to thank God for not for what he does. You know, I was always taught that it's two times that you should pray. When you feel like it and when you don't feel like Amen. it. Amen. Amen. And prayer changes things. Yes. yes. It's yes, it more does. powerful than medicine. I know it is. For he's a doctor that never lost a patient. Amen. He's an attorney that never lost a case. Amen. I have been around people where the doctors told them to go home and die. But you, I'm from the old school where you used to 
call the elders of the church and all the sisters and, and uh, the deacons will come in in that room, shut that door and lay hands on that person. Mm, and that person may have five to 10, 20 years left in them. Because yes. when man say no, God oh, says know. yes. 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 And no. I just been in, de I won't say denial, but I always kept my religion to myself. But now I have to tell the world, Amen. Right. tell my friends, Amen. because I have been experiencing so much good things. And I can feel that I've had some praying folks praying for me for the things that have came to me in my lifetime in the past two days, mm -hmm. a year. And I thank God for the prayers that they say when prayers go up blessings comes down yes, yes. right and that i thank right. god i got crazy faith i thank him in advance yes. and if i have a situation that i want to uh for him to help me with i pray on it mm -hmm. after i pray on it mm -hmm. It blessings never do come when I want them to come. Yes. But when they do come, they on time. Amen. Right on time. And all right he asks of us is just to recognize who he is. Yes. yes. And if a simple word like thank you, Jesus, yes. is all that he asks. Yes. Recognize who he is, and that's what makes him happy. Or to spread the good news about mm. His son, Jesus Christ. Yes. 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 Just to spread the good news. Yes. Or to try to save or win a soul. Yes. Mm -hmm. Or to bring someone out of the darkness into the light. Yes. Because there's so many of us walking around in the darkness. They think they got it going on, mm -hmm. but they don't know nothing about Jesus. They want to know why everything's going bad for them. Because they have not accepted Jesus Christ as the Lord and personal Savior. That is right. And I can guarantee you, if you accept the Lord as your Lord and personal Savior, all good things and everything will start coming your way. So we're going to let Miss Turnip Seed just say a few words because I know I probably <laughs> have took up all her time. But we're going to say a few more, uh, let her say a few words, and then we're going to. Uh, close the show and I thank the viewing audience for watching please call in let us know what you think about the show for the day or the past shows I thank my wife for allowing me to host the show just one more time <laughs> I'd rather have this honeydew list here <laughs> than to have the one that I have to cut the grass when I get uh -huh. home so thank you and we're going to let Miss Turnipsey close this out okay this morning we have been truly blessed to be here. Unrehearsed, undocumented, it comes straight from the heart. Amen. This morning, we have discussed a lot. We have talked about the Bible, and we know that the Bible is true. We know what is in the Bible is always right. As Martin Luther King once said, the time is always right to do what is right. The time is always right to do what is right. And if you live by that, you won't have many problems. They will honestly not be there. If you look at what you have in life, as Oprah Winfrey once said, if you look at what you have in life, you will always have more. Just think about that. If you look at what you already have in life, you always have more. Yes. But if you look at what you don't have in life, you will never have enough. I believe that. Oprah Winfrey. I Trials through the years, and I've learned to hold on.
just don't understand. Sometimes I can't do it. Sometimes I need a helping hand. It's no coincidence that when I can't go on, I hear a still calm voice telling me to hold on. So now, when troubles come my way, I'm not afraid. I get Thank you for this day, Lord God. Thank you for blessing me in every way. Thank you for forgiving me of my sins. And although I really don't deserve you, thank you for your mercy and grace. Lord God, I ask that you lose angels all around me. Keep me from hurt, harm, and danger. For I know, Lord God, that I wrestle not against flesh and blood, but against principalities and powers of darkness. Lord God, when I come to the cross, heavy laden and burdened down. I pray that I may lay down my burdens and leave them at the foot of the cross and not pick them up again. Lord God, in those times when I cannot pray, listen to my heart, Lord God. Use me to do your will. Bless me, Lord God, so that I may be a blessing to others. Keep me strong, Lord God, so that I may help the weak. Keep me uplifted so that I may have words of encouragement for others. Lord God, as I pray for those who do not know you, those who are lost and cannot find their way, remember me, Lord God, your good and faithful servant. Lord God, I pray for an extra measure of faith. For I believe, Lord God, that you are able to do all things and that you are able to change people and circumstance. Lord, I trust you in every way with everything. Lord God, I believe that I can walk on water if I don't look down. If I keep my eyes on Jesus, it's like walking on the ground. Amen.